Well, well January yeah. and February, months known for their great movies. Yeah. Great movie releases. Man. Um, go ahead. How long have they been sitting on movie 43? Four years. Because Jason Sudeikis was fat whenever they recorded this. He's been skinny for like two years. <laughs> Look, after watching this, I read a lot about it. I know. Doesn't it make you want to read about it? I, it did, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it took like four years to make because they would shoot around these A-list actresses' schedules so they couldn't back out, basically. I read two different articles about the actors almost being bullied into it and how they weren't, but yeah. I don't know. Something was going on, man. What do you think, Bex? You like... You like I these just, kind of movies. Here, I just, I'm going to concentrate on how to enjoy it. Here's how you enjoy it. You're going to see actors you love defiling themselves and their profession. You're never going to get a chance to see it again. So I, did you not really like it? I liked it. I thought it was weird. Because it feels like you're kind of comedy more so than... That was, I just didn't think it was that funny. I thought it was weird and I'm glad I saw it and I'm glad I can discuss it with you guys. <laughs> but there was a couple couple scenes that I liked, but I just saw it today, and I can't even remember all of like all of the... <laughs> I'll say this. Some are very forgettable. I appreciate the uh, um, <laughs> little bit that the trailer gave away. I didn't... Yeah. From the trailer, I didn't know any of the movie whatsoever. Like, yeah. And maybe that's because a lot of it couldn't be shown in trailers, really, on yeah. TV. Um, and I didn't, sort of didn't watch any Red Band trailers or anything like that, so I don't yeah. know. If, but... Um, I appreciate at least that I had. There were tons of surprises going oh, yeah. into it because, like, I had no idea. It's a lot surprising. Of the, skits. the very first skit was. I'm mean, not I expecting that shit at all. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, what did you think? I've never been so mad at myself for not walking out of a movie <laughs> and sitting through it. I've I felt at least it jumps around. A I lot. felt terrible that I didn't. <clears throat> I felt like when people that I was leaving with looked at me. That it reflected on myself that they were laughing, like I just felt like a terrible person watching. It it was horrible. Like I didn't have anything in it. I think so I nothing chuckled. funny. In it I think I chuckled a, the most, and it was the only time was when Halle Berry made the guacamole with her boob. No, live the sh- uh, Naomi Watts when they're uh, being asshole parents to their kid. Uh, that was the only time that I chuckled. Was like when they wouldn't let him into the party, and then. <laughs> Or when he was like being a mean gym teacher, but everything else there was nothing. Like, I read a lot a, of the shorts were a lot better in thought than they were in execution. That's yeah, exactly what sure. I thought. Like, a lot of them were. I mean, they're really funny ideas. It'd be funny on paper. Home school, you know, yeah. short is a pretty funny idea. But I think all I think it was just it was completely unfunny to me. I thought it was. They were just trying to be crass to be crass because they could. It felt like dirty SNL skits that were rejected, not just because of their vulgarity, but because they yeah. weren't going to work. Um, yeah. And then I read one of the best quotes was in the AV Club's review. They said that, you know, you get this chance to have all these actors have this kind of like, you know, their foul mouth kind of humor, but they don't elevate the content. They fall to its level. And I don't think it, there's anything that would describe this movie better than that. Is this, yeah. these people just, <laughs> yeah. Just shitting on their, literally shitting on their profession in the show and. And then they the show, show the bloopers at the end, kind of a couple little bloopers. Man, they just weren't that funny. Do they? Yeah, when they're, they're not showing really like bloopers, the directors like, and stuff, there was just like little cut parts. Yeah, like just stuff they cut. Okay, I guess I don't remember that. It was kind of bloopers, but it's not. Um, I remember the extra little. Doesn't matter. Forget after anything. The credits or during the credits yeah. or whatever. Forget it all. But it's, it's fine. one thing about this movie is for how shocking and how many great actors there are in it. It's forgettable. And it was really close to being hilarious. Some of the scenes. What was your favorite? What was your favorite scene? <laughs> Mine was with the truth or dare one was. That was funny. Pretty good. The British guy was funny, uh. and Halle Berry <laughs> made guacamole with her boo, which was funny. Yeah. But uh, I thought D- Giant. Knoxville I checked. I checked out twenty minutes in. I literally watched at least four or five YouTube videos on my phone while I was watching it without Whoa, without dude. audio. Uh, I was done. I was just... I wanted to leave. I didn't like it. I didn't like anything about it. You liked Johnny Knoxville's? Yeah. Love the comments on my favorite. I think that was probably my least favorite Well, one. again, great idea. It was a good idea, I thought. <laughs> it, it's funny. You guys, the week before, were talking about... We're comparing uh, Johnny Knoxville and... Um, 
Sean William Scott. Yeah. Did I love Sean Williams. No, Scott. The no, no I know they're friends. Together? I know well, that's they're... funny that you guys brought that up and they were in the short together. Yeah, I, is this... I want to know how they got all these people to do this stupid movie. I think they. Well, the I read brothers. that they signed Hugh Jackman on at a wedding. He's like, yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, and they're like, got him. And then that's how they got Kate Winslet. And then they used those yeah. two people to start pulling everybody else in. Yeah. They, another one I read was uh, they asked George Clooney for a skit if he would play himself about getting rejected by girls, and he said no fucking way, and then walked away. Like <laughs> everybody should have followed the Clunes. Yeah, man. Because man, I just felt bad. I've drawn some lines or something. I don't know what was worse was watching the movie or watching the guy and the other person in front of me laugh at everything. I just, ugh. They laughed at the scary movie five trailer, and I knew I was in for a bad moment and like ugh. Anna Ferris wasted <laughs> Who, Emma, what? Emma Stone wasted <laughs> list them all off like Anna every Ferris single is one brilliant of them. and other stuff that well, she does <laughs> not, not really like yeah not He's really funny some people are come on Chris Pratt her like real husband who plays her husband in the skit that guy's great I just really like I don't know every little bit of it yeah that's what I'm saying like the f- people who are funny you're right they came down a level the people who aren't funny Went up a little bit, but it was still at the same level of shit. But it was good. It, you can enjoy it. It's weird. Yeah, I, I definitely didn't uh, have as bad of a time in it as Barry. Sounds like I didn't have as bad a time either. I, I, I was I you know I enjoyed myself okay. Look, I thought playing for keeps was one of the lowest points of this, but man, watch it with friends. This beat Go the with shit friends. out of playing for keeps for lows. Yeah, it's probably much better with go with a group and just. By yourself. And I don't think you could really enjoy it with a group of people. I, I, I feel think like you enjoy if I was watching it in any just, state of mind. I thought I was watching it Ugh. with you guys and Jimmy and Dennis and Garth and Jerry Jackson. That would have been one of the greatest movie experiences. <laughs> There's a lot of fun, just. But no, I was just by myself. You just feel weird by yourself. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. There's a difference between. The jokes that we would say, or we would be riffing off of, like during a movie, yeah. and the actual movie. I would say I enjoyed that hour and thirty minutes that we hung around, and there was something on in the background. That's what I would say if we all. I just imagine together. like Garth when Halle Berry makes guacamole with her boob. I imagine Garth going, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh uh. I'd love to hear. I want Dennis Liu to see this. And Jerry would have. Jared would have cracked All right, up. Guys. All right, guys. Enough, <laughs> with, the, the enough with the friend <laughs> names. <laughs> enough with the friends. All right, so to best enjoy it, don't. <laughs> Low expectations. Um, just, you know, there's no just, witty, clever humor in it whatsoever. There are witty, clever ideas. The execution is very lowbrow, very, yeah, I'd say um, you know, poop fart jokes. Not even that many poop fart Protest jokes. Stuff. Yeah, it's just it's vulgar swearing Saturday Night Live skits, loosely with crazy Denny, Dennis Quaid. And you know you get to go and see A-list actors being in a horrible movie, so that's kind of fun too. Yeah. It's like they all messed up together, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be weird. With Hugh Jackman, probably could have won an Oscar for Les Mis without if it wasn't Daniel Day Lewis or something. And then he's in this movie. <laughs> Like right yeah, going win the Oscar and the Razzie for the yeah year. yeah Ugh. like man Halle Berry pick some better movies all right I think we've said all we can say about it um we don't have a special so we're not week. really prepared thanks for watching <laughs> what <Whoa, dude. laughs> cool way to end it way yeah to, wow way to end it on a movie forty three now that's yeah. how I felt when I left movie forty three. <laughs> You just wanted to keep using it as a verb.